Warzone Mobile will surely be a big game unless these three things don't get in the way and that's exactly what I'm going to share with you guys today. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Welcome everyone, my name's Ali, so I had this burden on my heart for a couple of days now and I wanted to release it by talking to you guys. I know we all are really excited for Warzone Mobile and we think it's gonna be a really big game. Now of course it will have a massive launch because of Call of Duty brand, but the question is, will it stay as a big game? Will it keep all those players who would like to give it a try in its player base? Now that will totally depend on these three things that I'm gonna share with you guys. So the first thing is the bots. Yes, bots is actually very important in any FPS game. And this is probably one of those things that gamers hate the most. I mean, I personally don't want to see any bot in Warzone Mobile, but it's not possible. Of course, we'll get to see some bots. But the question is how well they will manage the bots. We all know in Warzone PC we have total 150 players in each Battle Royale match. And that's going to be the case in Warzone Mobile as well, as we saw in the Alpha version. But do you think we will get to see 150 real players in Warzone Mobile? Of course no, we have less player base on mobile platform. Now the simple solution that comes in our mind is that maybe we'll give more time to Q, but if we will give more time to Q, so we only get to see real players in a match then, it would take so long that will be a big turn off for a lot of players. So now we know bots are mandatory, but the question is what's gonna be the solution so we will get to see less bots? Now I'm no expert, but I think we need to find a balance. If we can have a balanced queue time, where time for queue is bearable and it will give us less bots, then I would rather go and wait for queue than playing with all the bots. Now there was another solution brought by Iferg, who's the number one YouTuber. He said maybe 100 players will help us in less bots than 150 players. What they could do is take it down to 100 players, make the queue times take longer and have less bots. Now I would personally love to go and play with 150 players, but if those 150 players are bots, then I would go with 100 players, of course. I'd love to read your comments to know what you guys think how they can reduce the bots, but of course developers know much more than us. Now the second thing is optimizations. Now optimization is a backbone for any game because the whole performance factor depends on optimization. The reason Apex Legends Mobile died is because of lack of optimizations. Of course there were bugs and glitches as well. But optimization was the key point Apex Legends didn't succeed. Less optimization means your device will heat up, you guys will get to see lag, desync and so many weird problems that you can't even imagine. I mean low budget devices wouldn't be able to play game at all and then on mediocre device the performance would be really low and that will target less players which means dead game, more bars and everything that you can possibly imagine in a game. Now don't be sad, don't be scared, I will confess Hear me out, I've never seen a mobile FPS game as optimized as COD Mobile. Whether you want to compare Call of Duty Mobile with PUBG, Apex or even Free Fire like who works on low budget devices. The smoothness, the graphics, the FPS, everything is far more better than any other FPS mobile game. Same company, Activision is making Warzone Mobile and they have loads of experience and I think Warzone Mobile will be even more optimized than COD Mobile because of course the experience speaks. But the good thing is a news came that I showed you guys in my last Wars and Mobile video as well. That Wars and Mobile are working on the optimization of the game currently and they will make it work on low budget devices. Like now the last thing is actually really controversial. I don't know if I should talk about this but this is really important and it is really making me confused. I don't have any solution for this either. It has its pros and cons and of course I'm talking about TPP mode, the third person perspective. Now hold on, don't start crying in the comment section like, Oh no, I don't want to see TPP, Warzone is a FPP game, shut up man, shut up man. But let me tell you dude, TPP has a huge, huge player base when it comes to the mobile platform. Now don't get me wrong, I personally just want to see FPP in Warzone Mobile because that's how I know Warzone, that's how I love Warzone, you know? Also, if you will add TPP, that will divide the player base between two queues. Half the players will be queuing for TPP and the other half will be queuing for FPP. And their division means more bots. <laughs> bots are the enemies, ladies and gentlemen. 
But there's also another factor that those TPP players will may not play the game at all, looking at the fact that there is no TPP mode. On the brighter side, maybe if we have TPP mode, maybe the FPP mode will be attracted to those players and they would like to give it a try and maybe sometimes they will play FB mode as well. Moreover, if you look at the mobile streamers, we can see that mostly TPP mode gets more viewership. So will it benefit streamers as well? I don't know man, the decision will be made by the developers and I would love to hear your opinions in the comment section. In the darkest night and now the bonus tips work on the game size make everything downloadable just like card mobile so we can choose to download maps mods or skins and in that way we can save our space and if we don't have space at least we would be able to enjoy the game and then the hackers of course nobody would like to see the hackers in the game because it's cheating it's illegal and it's gonna be big turnout for not just the pro players but all the grinders as well and without the grinding the game is not gonna be fun so yeah guys this is it from this video make sure you guys subscribe if you guys are new on here here. Remember, peace, love, and unity. My name's Ali, and I'm signing out.